And welcome everybody on YouTube for some Fiora Vi. That's right, just YouTube today. Uh, had some trouble with some stream with the Streamlabs earlier, and uh, just the the Twitch um, stuff was down. So we're uh, just going to be recording today for YouTube. Sorry about that, all the Twitch viewers. Hopefully, it's working for tomorrow. Um, but today, uh, just going to be playing a rank up day, and so I'll be able to focus a little bit more on the games without reading the chat. And uh, we're going to be playing four rank up decks, four really good decks, starting with Fiora Vi. This deck is is uh, basically tuned to try to beat other mid range unit decks, which there are a lot of mid range unit decks around, because it's got a lot of challengers. You get to um, dictate the terms of combat with Fleet Feather Tracker, Fiora, Laurent Protege, uh, Swiftwing Lancer, and Vibe, and including both of our champions, very good challengers. Um, and yeah, and then we got a lot of a lot of spells to back them up. You know, like we're going 17 spells to back up these units, uh, keep Fiora alive, keep Vi alive, that kind of stuff. We got some heavy hitters at the top end with Judgment and Unyielding Spirit. I think this could, could just be a good place to be in this metagame with, like I said, a lot of other uh, mid-range decks out there uh, focusing on units, you know, being able to use... Uh, you know, like Fiora with, with your Repost and Prismatic Barrier and things like that. So it'll be our first deck of the day. Let's give it a try. We're going to go play five games over ranked. We're back over in Platinum. Uh, we're in Platinum 2. Looks like we are uh, eight wins away from Diamond. we got to win eight more than we lose. So that's kind of the goal today. Let's see if we can win eight more games than what we lose. Get to Diamond. That's the goal. Okay, so let's give it a try. Interesting aggressive deck here. Katarina Zed Darius. We can see them being really Noxus heavy and kind of splashing Ionia for Zed. Basically just that. Maybe they're playing like some... Uh, we're going to get rid of Vi. Maybe they're playing... Some elusives like Green Glade Duo. Definitely like this, you know, this start with the 2 3 here of War Chef's Protege. Unfortunately, we're not like attacking on turn 3. And so that's not ideal. Um, I could attack and go Radiant Strike. But I don't know. That, that kind of telegraphs my hand by doing the attack radiant strike. Hey Von Yip, what do you think? Katarina. All right, and they do have the one mana for the blade's edge, so I can't really just go like block barrier. That's not quite an option. I expect this to work though. I th Oh no, 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 because this thing isn't, no, this isn't gonna work. No, we can't block here. I was good. <laughs> Forgot. It's, yeah, you you can't block. This isn't just like regular quick attack. The quick attack recalls. I was gonna say like we could block it and then they blades edge my two four and then I radiant strike it, but no, that's not gonna work. That's all right. They can pick Katarina back up. We'll just go right ahead and challenge the Crimson Disciple. I wonder if I should just. Play Grizzled Ranger first. And attack Grizzled Ranger. No, I'll take I'll take this. Don't want to be too greedy. Yes. Sorry, sorry about that. Okay, Zed. So we can uh, we can single combat Zed. I'm gonna play this protege first. If you want the dog stop stop barking? All you gotta do is pet him. But that's basically all Harvey wants. So just petting Harvey. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so if I we got seven mana, so if I play Grizzled Ranger, I can still have Barrier, but I can't have like Barrier plus other stuff. 
That's probably okay, though. I mean, I, I have, like, Radiant Strike plus single combat. Like, that's probably a pretty good combination. Um... Let's try this. These protégés are looking really good. I don't know what I was talking about with... Uh, this deck matching up fairly well. Alright, well this will at least kill the Crimson Disciple, and I take... so I take two less damage because it doesn't survive the damage twice. I still end up taking four total. As you can probably tell, we're, we're looking good here. Alright, so we'll make that a 3-3. Eat the 2-2, two, two, so you know, we get two profitable trades. But not trades, I mean just... We have ways to kill both of their... Their threats, there we go. And we still had both Prismatic Barriers available if we needed those. Hmm. Could be scary. Not bad, not bad. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Um, let's go with the 3-4. Question is, so like, if I, hmm, so if I have, if they go Katarina attack, you know, like if, if they attack with Katarina, I'll stop you. I don't think I don't think like a barrier keeps it like it would still strike the barrier then recall I believe you know how like that doesn't count as striking Never. we should be able to just clear these all up with a good old judgment Judgment is nice. Judgment is nice. And there we go. Oh, we can update our, our score, can we? We are 1-0. Okay, seven more. Seven more wins than a loss as we need. Vimerdinger, this is gonna be a tough one. This is a this is not really a deck that relies on units so much, so this is gonna be a tougher matchup. Uh, we're gonna get rid of maybe these two? I mean Vi's still good. I don't know about Protector, like if I, I don't know if I want to just play like turn two Bright Steel Protector. I'd much rather have turn two War Chefs. Um, try Mulliganing. I don't know, I don't know if I'm supposed to Mulligan that. Ugh, shouldn't have Mulliganed it. <laughs> could have had, you know, could have had it, uh, Fill in a nice spot on the curve, but that's okay. Our <laughs> deck is all about challengers. Just everything. I will take a Thermogenic Beam. Yes, that's a good trade. Thermogenic Beam is such a good removal spell, especially when we have something like Vi. But I know, I know it, like, we, we only traded 
mana like straight up like we didn't get any mana advantage that's a good train okay so basically I wanted to see what they would do I like basically if they have if they have the four three I want to play Fiora to challenge the four three so I think I think they quickly passed I think that they do have the four three and that's their plan is to play four three and so I don't know if it's worth it's probably not worth attacking for three and then letting them spend that mana on the four three uh grizzled ranger or protege I guess just protege if only Fiora could see me now. she can she's not impressed Hmm. Kind of want to play these Grizzled Rangers. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna do that. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm just supposed to be playing Vi. Again, their their plan's just Heimer like their plan's probably Heimerdinger plus turrets, right? Do I just have them waste mana? Then I'm just not getting damage in. But I'm developing my, my board with them not developing their board. about this pass. I should go Grizzled Ranger here, shouldn't I? I was just thinking this costs more. I probably should just go Grizzled Ranger so that I can do that and go and just go straight to attacks with the Rangers next turn. So what they discard? I guess we don't can't tell during this part. Uh repost or not to repost? Next turn we have seven mana. Move it. I will go ahead and repost. Probably fine for the next turn. Alright, we're gonna play New Vi. And I think at this point I'm probably like I yeah I I can't really pass back. I think at this point I should attack. That's just that's just too much. Looks like maybe Will of Ionia's things of that nature. Okay. And I'll just let this happen. I'm not going to single combat. Because Heimerdinger is just too valuable of a target to get off of... Get, off, get out of play. Okay, so play that very carefully. It did work out. Um... Unclear what they had, what kind of stuff they had. Man, my camera just always just starts lagging. I need it. I need to get a new camera. I need to get a new 
camera. Okay. Sejuani Brom with Ionia. Hmm. Is this like elusives? Potentially. Potentially elusives. Oh, turn one Omenhawk. The best play in the game. The other three decks that we're playing are all Omenhawk decks. This Omenhawk is busted. Get him, Warchefs. Get him. Got him. Poor birdie. Cat got the bird. Save your worlds. We what are we doing over here? Passing turn three still? We have we have faced a lot of people passing their turn. That's been the it's been the common play. It's been pass. Got your back. So I like doing this pre-combat even though there's nothing over here. Because, like, what are they going to do? Are they going to put a blocker out there that I just kill? Like, they probably don't want to do that, so I probably can get another three damage in. Probably. And then if they play something post-combat, I have the single combat. Uh, actually, let's go... Let's pump this thing up because of Will of Ionia. I don't want to go, like, all in on this thing. Sure. Harsh Winds, that's a, that's a really good valuable card, and just trading that for gain 7 life. It's not bad for us. Braum? What is this? Okay. So we're going to need to... Okay. So I can kill Braum this turn still. Dang. Jewel Protector Braum's pretty awesome. That is a great combo. I should probably play some more Jewel Protector Braum. Um, okay. A lot of damage. I know I could do the barrier also. Sometimes I see hot just needs warm smile. But yeah, basically because of that I wanted to Because of that kind of card. I just gotta hope you know, wanted to have another single combat available. I just gotta hope they don't have another elixir of iron. That's a lot of resources we just used getting that Braum out of here, and it still gave them a mighty Poro. That was a pretty amazing Braum. Maybe, maybe too many resources. Maybe I should just let. You know, just let the challenge happen. Bow to no one. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Stand and fight. Let's 
some good stuff they got going on over here. So this will be this protege trading for these two, but then Sejuani can kill one of these things. Prove your worth. Go down to two. I, d I just don't want them to go like harsh winds, right? So like I don't really want to play the barrier and incentivize them to harsh winds. I think I just take that trade with them at two and, and hope I can get two points of damage in. Could be difficult. These are dangerous. Oh, that's not good. That's good. I don't really know of any incentive for me to play the Fleet Feather Tracker last turn and just basically tell my opponent that I have a Fleet Feather Tracker when there's nothing that I could draw that wouldn't let me play the Fleet Feather Tracker this turn, mana wise. So we should we should be good to go just to play it this turn. They cannot strike. They cannot see. It's not good for me. It's life steal. I go unseen. Okay, so you take out you. Likely gonna work out very well for me. And uh, that's what I mean. Damn, good, good hand. Good deck. Um, Jewel Protector plus Braum. What a combo. 4-8 Braum. That's that's really good against me. And what we're trying to do with these little things. I mean, so I, like, I have... I have a couple of outs. Single combat. That's not it. Or concerted strike. Nothing's gonna kill me. We have two concerted strikes in here, right? Yeah, two concerted strikes to go along with the single combats. All right, well, not the five O dreams dead. They got me. That's all right. That was a good game. So now another Vijack this time with Ezreal, not Heimerdinger. I would much rather face Ezreal than Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger, super super scary. Ezreal. Meh. Uh, we're gonna get rid of these. I'm gonna keep the Radiant Strike. I feel like that can, like, trade with a removal spell. You know, like trade up, especially if I'm not playing anything on turn one. Just a little one mana, save a unit. But the problem with this kind of matchup is, 
again, my opponent's not really relying on things for us to kill, and we want to, uh, you know, things for us to challenge, and want to try to challenge a bunch of stuff. Got your back. Radiant Strike trades with Mystic Shot. That's a good trade. It was basically a one mana burst speed 3 1. That's basically what that was. Not bad. I long for a worthy opponent. Alright, we'll take that. So, so far. We've both lost two cards, but we got a 3-1 in play, and we've just spent the same amount of mana. So, so far, so good for us. Now, this play does make Static Shock better, but it's just the, the card that you're supposed to play. Okay. That's a card disadvantage for them. Good for us. This, this card's really good because it trades with Vi, right? Like, if, if their plan was to play Vi this turn, <clears throat> we would have been able to uh, kill Vi. Alright, so I don't have... Don't have the mana to play something and then concerted strike, unfortunately. Concerted Strike's just a little bit too much. This will do two damage to the Vi, so it needs to do another three. All right, let's mess some folks up. Hit them where it hurts. Eat this! My duty's done. All right, they got me there. Got me there. Um, I'll save this mana. Get him, Grizzle Ranger. Alright, my plan is Protector, the Flea Feather Tracker. You know, that only does one damage to Vi. My shield is yours. That still could be us doing a bunch more damage to them. And they only have one more card in hand than us, even though we played all this stuff this turn. Well, I'll take it. Two mana for us, three mana for them, but also two cards for them. Discarded Rummage. Alright, well this is looking great. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Hmm. Ezreal's only five of eight. Let's kinda see what happens. I think Judgment would work. Judgment seems pretty risky. Let's just go Concerted Strike. Try to kill Ezreal with both of these things being lethal things for Ezreal. Both of these being able to kill Ezreal. And 
then yeah, Vi, Vi dies as well. There we go, two champions down for a concerted strike and half of... Half of a, a Grizzled Ranger. I honestly think it's probably worth just doing this, honestly. If I just go straight up attack, they just need three removal spells or or basically static shock plus one other spell. Which isn't that unlikely. So there's there's static shock. This gives me like, you know, I'm gonna probably be playing protege. Forcing them to have a whole lot of cards instead of just Static Shock plus one card. Because they only got two mana left. There we go, GG's. Alright, three and one. Good win. Let's get that 4 1. Let's get that 4 1. 4 1. Okay, Brahmanivia. That's going to be a deck that we're going to play later on. I'm playing I'm playing two like the real popular decks right now that other people are playing um, that people have been asking about. We're playing Brahmanivia and then Noxus. Uh, Basilisk aggro. Alright, I'm just going to get rid of all of these removal spells. I could see Concerted Strike being the one I should keep because Concerted Strike can take out a Braum. Let's keep that. That does mean that maybe I won't... Okay, good. As I was gonna say, maybe I won't curve out as well. That's an egg. So... Boo, hapless aristocrat. I'm not playing that in my Anivia Braum deck. But it's perfect here. I must get out of here. Also very good. So great start for them. And I got nothing for this turn. Good, no Braum. That's good. Braum would have been a problem. <laughs> Grizzled Ranger, why didn't you show up last turn? Let's lead with Lancer. Instead, of, you know, Lancer's bigger than Vi right now. They like to in the past see what I do and then play hapless aristocrat play. They like that play. Hmm. It's not much of an attack if I simply just attack and challenge and do two damage to them. It's not much of an attack. And yeah, I am playing another card into a potential ruination. Um, I don't want to trade. I don't want to trade half a Grizzled Ranger for Hapless Aristocrat. Yuck.
Things have worked out really well for them this game. Here comes the punchline. Don't know if we're going to win this. They still have more cards in hand than I do. So sure about this. All right, good use of a repost. Now this, this thing's going to turn into a regular Anivia again before I get to attack again. So I could Concerted Strike that. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Not yet. Not yet, not yet. Okay, I like kinda like using that more. We each died and found hope. Letting them draw two. So if I play Concerted Strike, it's you know keeps them from drawing two cards. So you know it is this is technically a you know it's a two for one. It keeps them from drawing those two cards. I think that's I think that's worth it. And I could have played. Could have just played Radiant Strike right there to level up the Vi. But I'll keep Radiant Strike instead. This is our time. I protect this place. Will will Vi level up mid judgment? Like if, if we like judgment and they have like three blockers, will it strike the first? Strike for ten plus, level up, and then do five, do five. Like will that happen? I am unclear how that would work. Couldn't have lethal, unless for some reason they did block Grizzled Ranger, which wouldn't make any sense. You're covered. Warm hearts and hot soup. Wish I had one more mana for Judgment right now. Could be a really good Judgment. Uh. I wish I had one more mana for Judgment. Guess I shouldn't have played the Bright Steel Protector, I guess. I couldn't, like, pass priority. I don't know, would I just play the Radiant Strike randomly? Because I couldn't pass priority. So I do, they just untap. 
So I think I think what I could have done, hmm, like I could have leveled up. Uh, maybe I was supposed to just play the Radiant Strike the turn before, just throw it out there to just level up Vi, and then I'd have a leveled up Vi, and so I could do the Judgment while it was attacking. I don't know. That was gonna be tough. That's still. I kind of need them to play like all four of those things first though, which I'm not sure if I could have gotten them to play all those things uh, first and have that strike four different things. I mean, just striking three things probably would have been fine enough. They're at 17. Yeah. Yep, it would have worked, but they would have, they probably would have just vengeance in response. Well, no, because they would have cast vengeance first. Okay, so basically, basically, I think if I would have cast the radiant strike to just level up Vi, untap, do the same thing of attack with just the grizzled ranger, and I can eat, I can do that again, and then they they play their third unit out, and then I do that same challenge, and they have the three units in play. You know, I wouldn't play the the three two. I would, I would still have the 3-4 getting through, and I'd have a leveled up Vi, and then they cast Vengeance on Vi, and then I cast Judgment, and so Vi would strike three times while attacking, so to do 15 damage. They were at 17, so that put them down to two, and then my 3-4 would be able to kill them. So I guess that was the, that was the line. Um, you know, hindsight and everything, but yeah, so I guess I should have just thrown away the Radiant Strike to, to just level up Vi. Okay, good good to know, good to know. And then, yeah, use the, the judgment there. But all right, so we started uh, with a 3-2. A little disappointed, hoping for that 4-1. That's okay. Um, yeah, so basically, like I was saying, I think I think this deck's pretty well positioned with a lot of mid-range decks in the metagame. We didn't really play against that many mid-range decks, but also small creature decks, you know, like right with your elusives. Uh, you can usually challenge your the smaller elusives um, with your Fiora, Protégé. Those cards are usually really, really good against small elusives. All right, that's our first deck today, Fiora Vi. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, well, I mean, I guess that's everybody. <laughs> Hit that like button over there. Uh, leave those comments. I would appreciate both of those. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.